Porky Pig and Daffy Duck make a great team. So whenever they're together in a cartoon, I'm really excited about it. However, when it came to Slightly Daffy, it's a little bit too uncomfortable to be enjoyable. This is a 1944 Warner Brothers cartoon directed by Fritz Freeland, Tex Avery and Robert Clampett, according to IMDb. Written by Ernest G. and Michael Maltese, with voices, of course, provided by Mel Blanc. And Daffy is a, a general and Porky is uh, sound asleep and it starts off quite well with Daffy trying to wake him up and it's, it's quite amusing and entertaining but the reason he's waking up is because the Native Americans are attacking and they need to get up and fight and I will say this is some of the most stereotypical depictions these are some of the most stereotypical depictions of Native Americans I've seen from Warner Brothers the design of the characters are not too bad, by which I mean there are versions Warner Brothers did where they have, you know, really stereotypically long noses and, um, you know, very exaggerated physical features. The animation of the Native American characters is definitely not as bad as it has been, but there are a lot of stereotypes in their behaviours and in their actions, and that does make it really awkward to watch um, and, and really quite uncomfortable. Um... So even though the animation's not the worst I've seen, I, I, they still have quite exaggerated features and things. But there's one in particular that I'm thinking of that my mind is comparing it to. And I can't remember which one it is, unfortunately. Um, please feel free to let me know if you know which one I mean. But, for example, the Indian chief in that cartoon is really tiny, but with a, a, like, a huge nose and... Um, really exaggerated features. And it's not quite as bad as that here, but they still have you know, overly exaggerated, very caricatured features, um, which is just really awkward in itself. But then the behaviours of them are very stereotypical and the way the other characters react to them is just uncomfortable. So it's not great. Um, some of the sound effects are quite good. Some of the um, background music is, um, you know, the pacing of the music is very good. It helps to carry the narrative forward at a steady pace. I am definitely trying to find positives where they exist. Bits of it is well animated. In fact, the whole thing is well animated, except from the, the Native American characters, who are still a little too caricatured for my liking. Even though it's not as bad as it could be, it's still not great. Um, the narrative flows well. It has a pretty decent narrative structure, but unfortunately the narrative is awkward and uncomfortable and uh, just really painful to watch. Would I recommend it? I mean, if you're a fan of Daffy and Porky and you haven't seen it, give it a watch, as long as you bear in mind that it's not going to be an easy watch. But just in general, I'm not going to say, hey, check out this cartoon, it's brilliant. Absolutely not. Watch it for the right reasons, but I would also say if you don't want to watch it, it's not going to be the worst decision you've ever made because it's, it's, it's definitely very uncomfortable.